Hey there guys again, welcome. In this video, we'll be having logarithmic inequalities. You see, logarithmic equations are okay. Solving them is easy, but inequalities, they're a little bit tricky. So let's see. So to solve logarithmic inequalities, we use the following properties. The first one, if the base is greater than one and logarithm of m to the base b is less than logarithm of n to the base b, then m is less than n. The first property is telling us that if the bases of the logarithms involved are greater than one, we can just copy the argument and preserve the inequality symbol. So the inequality symbol used here is less than. So if we're going to solve it, we're going to preserve the inequality less than. In property number two, if the base is greater than zero, less than one, if the base is in between zero and one, and logarithm of m to the base b is less than logarithm of n to the base b, then m is greater than n. So I hope you already see the um, difference. If the base here is in between zero and one, we copy the arguments, but we reverse the direction of the inequality symbol. So originally here, the logarithm with the argument m is set less than the logarithm with the argument n. And you see, if we're going to solve them, magiging greater than na siya. Okay, now reversing direction ng inequality symbol. There you have it, guys. Oh, in property 1, it will also apply to the other inequality symbols. Just preserve the inequality symbol if the base is greater than 1. But if the base is in between 0 and 1, then we reverse the direction of the inequality symbol. Are you wondering, what if the base is 0? What if the base is 1? You see, a logarithm with a base of 0 or 1 is undefined. Don't believe me? Check it out on your calculator. So now let's try to solve these logarithmic inequalities. Okay, so first step is to look at the base. So the base here is 3. So 3, that's greater than 1. So if that's greater than 1, then we preserve the inequality. So the inequality here is greater than or equal to. Now, we copy the arguments. And look at that. Napakadalina niya. So we solve for x. Are you following? Okay, let's continue. So x is greater than or equal to 6. But you see, we're not done. Because we have to be mindful of the arguments. The arguments cannot be 0 or negative. Because if the argument is 0 or negative, then the logarithm is undefined. Because you see, if one of them is undefined, then we cannot really tell if it is greater than or less than the other. Get the idea? So, okay, after solving for x here, we get the arguments. So the arguments here are 4x minus 8 and 2x plus 4. Okay, so we have to set the arguments greater than 0. Are you following? After setting it greater than 0, we solve for x. We have another x. X should be greater than 2. And for the other one, X should be greater than negative 2. And you see, we are looking for those values of X that will make the inequality true. So to do that, we draw a number line. And we're going to mark this uh, numbers. We have our 6 and 2 and negative 2 on the left one. So we are going to shade them on the number line. Nasaan ba yung mga number na tinutukoy ng mga intervals na to? So here, we have your x greater than or equal to 6. So we're going to shade from 6 until positive infinity. Okay, why did I shade that one? Because 6 is included. Why is it included? Because of this, okay? Greater than or equal to 6. Now we have your x greater than 2. So I'm going to mark 2. But I'm not going to shade that. So this interval is talking about the numbers that are greater than 2. So that is from this point until positive infinity. And we have here x greater than negative 2. So we mark this part. Since that is greater than, 
those are the numbers to the right. Now we are going to get the intersection of the three intervals. Nasaan? So what do I mean by intersection? That, that is, is the part where the three intervals has common solutions. So nasaan yung part na yon? Nandito po. Okay? So that is from 6 until lahat sila papunta sa positive infinity. Ito kasi yung part kung saan silang tatlo ay common. So that is the intersection of the three intervals. So 6 is included. We use square bracket. And of course, infinity, we use parentheses. So the solution set of this logarithmic inequality is this in interval notation. So those are the numbers from 6 until positive infinity. Next example, okay. This number 2 is a perfect example where we can use the property number 2. The base is in between 0 and 1. So you see, if the base is greater than 0, less than 1, then we're going to reverse the direction of the inequality symbol. So if this is less than, we're going to use greater than. So after reversing the inequality, we copy the arguments. And then back to simple algebra, we solve for x. Okay, so a general rule if we are solving inequalities, if we divide both sides of the inequality by negative number, we have to reverse the inequality symbol. So reverse the inequality symbol, x now is equal to positive 5. So I hope you're following. We're not yet done. We have to get the arguments. We should set them greater than 0 because they can't be 0 and they can't be negative as well. Now we solve for x. And the next thing we're going to do is to plot them on the number line and look for their intersection. Okay. Oh, they're consecutive integers. So we plot this interval right here. X less than 5. 5 is not included, so we use an open circle. So since that is less than, we're going to the left. So to the numbers less than 5. Next, we have your X greater than 3. We mark that one. 3 is not included, so open circle to the right. So to the numbers greater than 3. And last but not least, we have here x greater than 4. We mark 4. Since that is greater than, that is going to the right. And we are going to look at the region where they have common solutions, their intersection. So sa ano intersection nila? Dito po na part. So yan yung kung saan sila common. Since that is an open circle right there, 4 can't be included, so we use parentheses. And here, we have an open circle here, so 5 and a parentheses. So the solution set of this inequality symbol is this one in interval notation. So those are the numbers from 4 to 5, okay? But you see, we can also write the, the final answer in set builder notation. So if you want to write this in set builder notation, the set of all x such that x is um, greater than 4, less than 5. But you see, I prefer interval notation because they are shorter and more convenient. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the next one. Logarithm of 2x plus 1 to the base 2 is less than 3. Now, there's a little bit of problem here because this one here is a constant. It's not a log expression, so we cannot use the property. But, you see, we can rewrite this in its exponential form. Okay, so this is how we're going to do it. Normally, if, if this is an equation, let's say this is an equation, if we're going to rewrite it in exponential form, we do this, right? So 2 raised to 3 is equal to to x plus 1. But you see, if it is an equality, we have to be mindful of the direction of the inequality symbol. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We are going to let the argument stay on the left. 
copy the inequality symbol and uh, bump the base to the right. So if we're going to bump the base to the right, it will push 3 up, so 3 will become the exponent. Okay, so we can do it this way, but we can also do it in another way. We get the base, raise it to, to whatever the result is, but we have to reverse the inequality symbol to x plus 1. So, nasa inyan ko anong mas madali? If you're going to let the argument stay on the left, you have to preserve the inequality. But if you prefer the method that we're used to in, in logarithmic equations, you have to follow the inequality symbol. So if you're going to put the argument to the right, you have to reverse the inequality. A little bit tricky. But I prefer this one. I'm going to let the argument stay and just copy the inequality and bump 2 to the right. Okay, so now let's solve for x. Less than 2 is easy. Minus 1. Seven. x is less than 7 over 2. Now we get the argument. We set it greater than 0. And solve for x. x now is greater than negative 1 half. Now we draw a number line. We plot these numbers. So negative 1 half is on the left. And we have here positive 7 over 2. So this one here, x should be less than 7 halves. So less than, that will be going to the left. We have here x greater than negative 1 half. Since that is greater than, we're going to the right. Now we get the region where they have common solutions. So this one here is their intersection. And since that is an open circle, that will be a parenthesis, negative 1 half. Open circle again there, so that is a parenthesis. So this is the answer in interval notation, but you see we can write it in set builder notation. How? So that is the set of all x such that x is a greater than negative 1 half, less than 7 over 2. Okay, so there are two ways in which we can write the final answer. It can be in set builder notation or it can be in interval notation. Last but not least, okay, here there are two laws. We have to write it into one by using the law of product. So that will become logarithm 5x to the base 10. So if the logarithm doesn't have an indicated base, the base is 10, okay? That is a common logarithm, okay? Now we rewrite it into its exponential form. I'm going to let 5x stay. I'm going to preserve the inequality. I'm going to bump the base to the right. So 10 will bump into 2. 2 will be pushed upwards. So it will become the exponent. So let's start for x. 100 divided by 5 is 20. Greater than or equal to. And we get the arguments. Set it greater than 0. So here 5, we already know that it is greater than 0, so we don't need to set it greater than 0. But this x, it is unknown, so we have to set it greater than 0. And that's it. Now we uh, draw the number line and locate these numbers on the number line. So we have here 0 and positive 20. So x should be greater than or equal to 20. I'm going to shade this part because 20 is included. Since that is greater than, I'm going to move to the right. We have here 0, and we have here x greater than 0. We have here 0 there, open circle, to the right. Where are they common? It's in this part. So from 20 until positive infinity, but as you can see, JB na batog di 20, it's shaded. So 20 is included. We use the bracket, and then... That is going to an infinity, so we use parentheses. So this is the final answer in interval notation, but you see we can write it in set builder notation. How? The set of all x such that x is x is greater than or equal to 20. So there you have it, guys. That is how we solve logarithmic inequalities 
there are times when you solve for logarithmic inequalities and if you are going to plot them on the number line at wala silang intersection. Kung baga, there are three intervals at walang part kung saan sila common. Okay, so if you ever encounter that at walang intersection, that means the logarithmic inequality doesn't have solution. If there is no solution, then there will be no value of x that will make the inequality true. Okay? So there you have it, guys. That is how we solve logarithmic inequalities. I hope you get the trick. The trick is, if the base is greater than 1, we preserve the inequality symbol. But if the base is greater than 0, less than 1, so a number in between 0 and 1, we have to reverse the inequality. Yun lang naman yung rule in solving logarithmic inequality.